And now to our Smart Money series this morning. We are diving into finances for young adults. Rhiannon Alley has more about how to start saving and managing your money after college graduation. Can someone tell me what I should be saving my money for? When it comes to saving money in 2024, most of Gen Z seems to be struggling. I finally looked at what I spent in the month of May, and I'll tell you what, we are absolutely cooked, folks. Including recent graduate Bianca Sindra, a young professional in New York City. My predominant financial goal as of now for the near future is to pay my student loans off as quickly as I can. And then my other one is really to have like a solid savings balance. Vanguard Senior Wealth Advisor Mary Ryan has some helpful saving tips for Bianca. Many companies will offer you the opportunity to put some money into maybe your checking account, but also have a certain amount go automatically into a traditional savings account, very similar to a way to save in a retirement account. Money can come out automatically. If you're just starting your savings journey, Mary suggests taking accountability by writing down your income and spending. But if you prefer apps, try Monarch Money or YNAB. Keeping your eye on it and doing it regularly really does help to reduce that stress level. Another issue for Bianca, saving versus spending. How do you balance that aspect of wants and needs and personal expenses versus ones that are more required for your daily living. Mary suggests the 50-30-20 rule. Use 50% of your income towards paying bills, 30% towards leisure, and 20% towards an emergency fund or to pay off extra debt. For Gen Z and their future finances, saving up can really pay off. Rhiannon and Allie, ABC News, New York. Such great tips there. Of course, it is never too early to be talking about how to manage your money. We all know that.